you add the missing Tacoma large cubby back in? Well, good morning, everybody. How are you today? Pretty good here, and that's right. Can you add the missing Toyota Tacoma Cubby back in? You know, that large storage box that used to be right over there, I believe they took them out, I think, beginning in 2019. Just gone, for no reason, just gone. Now, of course, we still have the smaller one right over here, right? And for those of you that don't know, there was one about two and a half times that size right over there came in really handy for storage but as i said for some reason toyota decided to take them out so i've done a little bit of investigation a little snooping around and you can actually buy that box and it just bolts in to the side right there now why can you still buy it well i believe there's some sort of a law that says that anything that's been discontinued has to still be available for stock or purchase 10 years after, you know, in case you have one and it gets in an accident. Let's say that, I don't know, somebody sideswipes you here, hits the side of your truck and busts out that storage cubby box. Well, obviously that's not gonna total the truck, right? They're gonna replace this panel and then they have to replace that box. So it still has to be out there available. And it is, I've seen it out on the web. I can't remember what it costs. Seems to me it was rather pricey um but it is still out there so what do you have to do well let me show you here as i mentioned before the cubby used to be right here and my bed is dirty so maybe i can actually outline it for you used to be something like that yeah that came out pretty good in the camera but it used to be right there so all you really have to do is get that cubby and i may do this myself i haven't decided yet but get that cubby, measure out the square hole, and all it is is a square, right? It has a little lip that goes all the way around the edge, um, I believe. That is how it fastens in. Something similar looking uh, to this, except it has the cubby part right here, right? So all you have to do is cut that out, drill the holes, and I think there are, I think there are six of them, if I'm not mistaken, four or six. Um, through this plastic liner here, and that's all that it is, and then go ahead and attach it. Now, you might be wondering, of course, since Toyota chose to take it out, did they do something underneath? I mean, is there a reason? Is there something in the way? Well, let's go down here. We'll take a look, um, and I'll show you that there isn't anything in the way, which, again, makes no sense as to why Toyota took this out to begin with. But we're looking up right here. Let me get my light on. Hopefully I don't forget it's in here and leave it. Um, but right here is the edge of your bed, right? Um, right here. And that cubby would sit right down here, right? So it would only come out in this area. Um, and that's it. So there's plenty of room in here. They didn't change the dimensions of the truck. So it's going to stick out about right about here or so. Um, and it fits just perfectly. Now, I'm noticing while I'm under here, and this is kind of interesting to me, um, one could actually put some sort of storage in the floor. Wouldn't it be cool to have some kind of a box hanging down here? Um, let's see, and you'd have to put it probably over here, I would guess, in between these uh, supports. Uh, but hanging down here to be able to store stuff in the truck. Let's take a quick look up at the top. I'd never noticed that before, but it looks to me like one probably could do that. And you know, the Ram Rebel actually has floor storage like that behind the uh, passenger seats. So what I'm talking about, <laughs> this is kind of a sidebar, but I just noticed it, uh, would be about in that area. Now, you do have the ridges of the deck. Um, or the floor of the truck, so maybe not such a good idea. It could be done, um, but you would have to clear or set on top of those rails, so probably not a good idea. Anyway, just something I uh, happened to notice while I was under there. Wouldn't that be cool if it had bed storage down in the bed? I think that would be pretty neat, and if Toyota was actually forward-thinking enough, eh, 
you probably could do that. But anyway, back to the topic at hand. So all you have to do is cut that out, screw it in, and it would look the same as what this is with a bigger door if you've never seen one. Um, comes out just like that and of course has the little slots. And I don't know if you guys can see down through there, but you can actually see the floor uh, through those holes. So it's kind of the same setup. Matter of fact, let me put, uh, I'll leave that out. Let's uh, look underneath there real quick, probably give you a real good idea of what the bigger one would look like uh, if you actually did cut one out and put it in. So let me get underneath here with you guys. Yeah, and you can see it's right there. Uh, right here is where it sits, and it's held in the same way, and you can see the distance between it and the fender here. Um, so you don't have a clearance issue there either. So it certainly would fit, no problem, and would be about the same as what you've got there. Now, I will say, again, that bigger box is uh, probably about two and a half, maybe twice the size uh, of the smaller one that you see there. But does give you a lot more storage options. You know, I used to store bungee cords in there. And I used to store gloves in there. Uh, and it was very handy and freed up space um, that's in the back right now in the under seat storage. So they are pretty handy. Again, no idea why Toyota decided to get rid of it. Um, my only thinking is, is that they are looking forward into the redesign of the Tacoma, you know, Gen 4. And they're going to do something in that area that wouldn't allow to have that box there. So maybe they're thinking ahead and that's why they discontinued it in, an, in anticipation um, of the next truck. Or who knows? Maybe they'll even put it back in once they come out with the next generation um, as kind of a, a bonus to people uh, who had it before who want it in the future. Maybe that's how they're going to try to get people to buy that new Gen 4 Tacoma. You never know. Anyway, I just wanted to get on here, talk about that a little bit. I get a lot of comments on the channel, um, people talking about missing that, wishing that it was still there. You do have the ability to put it back in if you want to. Um, it doesn't look that difficult to me to do. I think uh, with just a saber saw um, or even a, maybe a, a cutting tool of some other kind, I don't know, you could just cut that square out and put it right back in. Leave a comment. Let me know. Is this something you've been missing? Have you put one in? I'd be curious to know. Also, real quick, if you're interested, check out my other channel. It is Rob Motive JT, all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator. Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.